IKEA is suing a video game. They have sent a cease and desist demand to the developer of an indie horror game, The Store is Closed, in which you basically get lost in an endlessly gigantic furniture store and have to fight your way through the store to survive and find the exit. Kind of like a real life IKEA store, you know? And well, IKEA itself says that a lot of the graphics and layouts are just too similar to an IKEA store and they don't want to be associated with something like this. Just like you shouldn't want to be associated with people that aren't aren't following the tech news because now that would be really horrifying. So what do you think? Is IKEA in the right to sue or not? It doesn't really matter though because I'm sure a small indie developer wouldn't want to take on IKEA in a legal battle. So this is a pretty interesting situation and I would love to know what you guys think, you know, who is in the right, who is in the wrong. So the video game, if we look at the trailer right here, so first of all, you know, this uh, this kind of resemble an IKEA store, I guess, but it doesn't say IKEA. It does use its own colors, though. And this is the actual game, which actually seems like quite quite complex, quite fun. It seems like you can break stuff, craft stuff, and I mean, this store is just look at this store man it's just so gigantic so ikea i guess you know they're a business obviously they don't want to be associated with something like this i guess i don't really see the harm in it but you know i guess it's fine so they are saying that the graphics the layout of the store some of the employee wear and stuff like that it's just too similar to ikea and they say that a lot of people in the comments for the video game also uh, you know, get the impression like they're in Ikea and you have little Easter eggs like this, which I personally think they're really cool, but they obviously don't like them. So we have some Swedish meat right here, uh, you know, so uh, yeah, this kind of resemble Ikea a little bit, you know. Now, the matter of who would win if this would actually go to court doesn't really matter because the thing is, if a gigantic corporation like Ikea actually sends you a cease and desist letter saying that you need to change something or else they're going to sue you, uh, even if if you are very confident in, you know, the whole winning the legal process in court, I guess, you know, you're still not going to take a risk and uh, go into a lawsuit battle with Ikea because, I mean, that could get dragged out for multiple years and that could cost a lot of money and you could, you know, very well go out of business before you're done paying for all of your legal fees. So pretty unfortunate, you know, I think it would have been pretty cool to have sort of an Ikea-like store and, I mean, it's just, it fits really well, you know. First time I went into just a gigantic ikea furniture store you know it's it is kind of hard to leave you know they, they have all those corridors and stuff set up in a way where you know you go in and then you sort of just have to keep going have to keep looking at various products before you can actually leave the store so i don't know i think it fits pretty well but uh you know if ikea is not happy then uh, unfortunately uh, you're just gonna have to comply or enter a legal battle with a gigantic company